Okay, everybody, welcome back to Feed the Beast um, with me, Sid, on the Titanium Gaming servers. Um, for those of you who watched the previous episode, you may be spotting a few things different. Um, we had a slight problem in that while I was working, getting the lava pumped from the last episode out of the volcano, the um, server decided to corrupt a whole load of chunks. Uh, and when I went to look at the backups, they weren't there. So we've rectified that, and I found a new location. Similar, we've got a volcano at the back, rebuilt the house, um, and basically redid everything we did last time. Pumped the lava into the volcano, built the tank, which is now nice and full. 1,008 buckets of lava. Um, since then, while we were pumping, I've also built this shed at the back, which is what we're going to use to build some generators to use that lava in. Um, built a nice little armor rack in there, which if you haven't spotted, I've pulled the armor off of there. And also, whoops, steady on, I've just gone and built this particularly uh, nice mine, which goes down to about level 6. The um, reason I've done it in this large spiral staircase with a central pillar is at some point I would like to use railcraft and maybe use some uh, vertical elevators going up there. Loads of goodies, um, saplings from the various trees I've cleared, um, lots of gems, lots of ores, um, a few diamonds that I found down near at the bottom there. Uh, so at some point we're going to get around to processing that, but for today the first order of the day is to build some geothermal generators. Um, we'll also hook that up to another MFE uh, just so we've got a little bit more storage and we'll start pumping that lava out. So first thing we're going to need, we're going to need some waterproof pipes. Uh, we will want the MFE and we will want our glass fiber cable. Now, geothermal generator is made using um, some empty cells, glass, a generator, and some refined iron. Now, the generator itself is also cells, refined iron, and an iron furnace, which is just a ring of iron. However, the cells themselves, we also need... Ooh, not cells. It's... Uh, let me get the is a ring of tin which is uh, nice but the RE battery is slightly more complex uh, let's see if we can get it up it's not coming up on the old thing there RE battery the recipe for that come on show me the recipe no it doesn't want to show me the recipe for an RE battery um, anyway, it's redstone, um, copper cable, and tin, as I recall. So let's start off, get some tin, uh, iron, refined iron, uh, we'll want redstone, uh, any rubber we've got. I think I've got a couple of mixtures. One of the great things, of course, with Feed the Beast is these different varieties of rubber from different mods there. Uh, we'll want copper as well, so let's have a look. Let's just go and start off with some wires, which we're going to need. Oops, helps if you get the right metal. Not bronze, copper. Obviously, the co copper is more bronzy coloured, and the bronze is more copper coloured, just for good measure there. Now, if I remember my ingredient, my recipe correctly, um, for the batteries, it should just be that. So that gives me my RE battery. So back down, we need a geothermal generator. We need a generator, which is refined iron, iron furnace, and an RE battery. So, iron furnace, da da da, iron. Oh. And then we need refined iron across the top, and an RE battery will make myself a generator. 
uh, I need the cells which is that so it was oh, I need glass 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 yes. so then it was a let me get this right it was a gener generator two cells oh, refined iron that was it refined iron and glass and that gives me a geothermal generator now I'm going to make a couple more of those we'll have three running um, because why not so we'll need another set of cells there uh, another couple of furnaces with two of those uh, no not two of those get myself in the right doing the right thing here uh, one two one two one two uh, and those gives me those that plus one two one two one two and two of those gives me three geothermal generators so we also need a redstone engine which is going to need some wood uh, and so we need to make a pist piston to start off with which is two cobble uh, iron in the middle redstone and wood that gives me a piston. We're going to need two cogs. Uh, so, if I remember rightly, yep, I do remember rightly. I only need one of those, though. I don't know why I was thinking I needed two. And also a lever. turn that on and off okay so lever redstone engine we've got the pipes we've got the geothermal generator we've got the so what we can do get rid of the bits we don't need don't need the redstone don't need those don't need that uh, don't need the rubber uh, but we don't need the metal oh, it's getting dark maybe time to go and have a sleep Amazing how time fast travels when you're having fun, doesn't it? Okay, it's a new day. Uh, there's a creeper down there. I can see that on the mini map. Uh, not much going out else going on out there though. So, right. So just double check. We've got our geothermal generators, which we're going to pipe lava into the bottom, as I recall. Uh, in fact, while we're there. Got the redstone, we got the pipes, okay. Now let's go and see what we can find. Oh. Thank you. Right. So the first thing we need to do is hook up this valve. Just check that creeper's not hovering, he's just down there somewhere can't see him, he's obviously not anywhere near us, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, so digging out underneath here uh, to put in a water insertion pipe there. Take that under the uh, thing with cobblestone pipes. Okay, let's just stick that some of that dirt back. Redstone engine goes here. Stick the switch on the back of it. 
and that's ready to pipe into the shed. So from the shed, uh, where are we? It's coming in here, I think. Yep. More pipe. Bring that out there. Now, do I do it to the back or underneath? I'm going to assume it's underneath, actually. So, we'll have those out. And pop our pipe in here. Um, I'm just trying to think, is it underneath or is it over the top? Oh, well, well, we'll pop one down to see what we get. Well, it's probably underneath. Let's go turn on the pipe, see. Turn on the pump and see what we get going out of there. Now, with a bit of luck. Just waddle around here a bit. Lava's pumping, and obviously it is being used. You can see the lava's going out and coming back in and out and in and so forth and so on. Okay, so if that's the case, we should see that this has got lava. So let me place the MFE oh da, da, da. I'll place the MFE here and then we will try and hook that up and see what that's not doing anything okay Make the question, am I painting it into the right hole? I think I'm pushing into the input and I need a spanner. Can never remember which way round. Let me get the right one. It's a wrench I need. Which way round these devices plug in. So let's go and try. Rotate that. Oh, yep, we have that's generating. That's getting some juice. So if I pop those in there, we should see that that's shooting up fairly fast. And this is doing its thing. Okay, so the next thing to do is to bring that power around and out to things. Now what I want to do is to have this socket here at the bottom. So it's still generating. Oops. Pickaxe at my shovel is too efficient. fairly standard so let's oh I'm gonna have to do this again aren't I? Done my usual trick, dug myself into a hole. So we'll bring this round. Yeah, we'll just stick a bit of dirt into nerd pole out. learn but obviously I don't and one more up like that like down some floor and this should now
Oops, there we go. That's where we're digging from. So we're digging from here, that's the MFE, there's the LV convert transformer is there. So what we need to do is hook that into the grid. Just after the first MFE. But before the transformer. So again, get the uh, cable here. Bring this through to here. And then just get myself out of the hole. at my tracks and that should be let's have a look that's got plenty of lava that's almost a third full already from those three and these things will stop generating when that's full which is the nice thing about the um, geothermal generators and obviously the lava won't pump in this thing so we're not we're not a million miles away. Now obviously one thing we have to bear in mind is this lava, even though there's so much of it, is going to run out sometime. Um, and we're going to need to do something to find a more permanent source of that. So I have a plan using a few of the features from this version of Beast to Beast to go and well for want of a better word, mind the end and the nether. Um, the end specifically we're going to need ender pearls because we're going to want some world anchors. Um, world anchors are powered by ender pearls as well as um, often as not created by them. Um, and for the nether we're going to need some blaze rods and things to create a ender tank. Now an ender tank for those who haven't used it before is very similar to an ender chest in that it will put liquids in one tank and they can be pumped out of another tank um, somewhere else. So I've already been to the uh, end if I uh, can find my disabled endpoint. No, it's where has that gone then? Uh, all waypoints display. Da, da, da. Okay, that's fun. We've lost the um, waypoint, so I'm going to have to go and find that at another point. We're also going to need to build um, another portal, um, so we'll get that done today and whilst I try to find out where the hell my end portal has gone um, that can be something to tide us over a little bit uh, I need an iron ingot, where's my iron, 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 iron iron oh, let's just get them crafted oh it was uh, Okay, and there's my thing. So, what time are we at? Oh, time for a quick sleep before we build this uh, nether portal. Okay, and back down we go. Now, one thing I don't want to do is to have a nether portal right outside my house. The sound of nether portals is, is quite simply horrendous. So I'm going to build it just out of the way over here somewhere. Um, I think, where, where shall we do it? On this hill. This hill looks perfect. So put the uh, base in there. The one, two, One, two, and where's 
cut off flint and steel. And there we go. Let's just go and have a quick peek through there. See where we end up. Too shabby. Reasonable location. Uh, oh God, angry baby. Don't you just love the nether? Uh, oh, and it looks like there's a nice big sea of lava down there, which we can possibly harvest. So I think we've got a reasonable location here. We'll need to go and find. Um, Nether Fortress to find some blazers, but you know, it's not beyond the realms of possibility. So, for the time being, I'm just going to pop back to the overworld and join me next time when we go dimension hopping. Thanks, and goodbye. <laughs>